What's going on, psychos? It is I, some Joe Schmo here. And for the final time, this is our psych intro because we are on Psych the Movie 3. This is Gus. Which is, I'm pretty sure, is that a play on words, This Is Us? That's This Is Us, right? Isn't that the show that Lasseter's on, or, uh, Timothy Umitson? Um I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. I'm sorry, my brain's going a million miles an hour here because this is the last movie in the succession of Psych, y'all. I don't know what to do with myself after this. I'm already getting a little choked up here. But before we get into any of this, I want to give you guys a quick heads up. I just had a massive three, four days of a sinus infection that just destroyed me. Um, I, I suffer terrible allergies, and for whatever reason, these past four days, I've been congested out the ass. Um, so you'll have to forgive me if I sound a little overly congested, if I, yeah, I'm, I'm like, uh, ugh, you know, coughing, sputtering throughout this whole thing. Um, it's nothing more, nothing less. That's all it is. But I just wanted to give you guys that quick heads up because I do feel kind of like ass and I am kind of, I don't want to say forcing myself to do this. Um, obviously with me going on vacation here pretty soon, I have to kind of just get this recorded so I can continue to edit it while I'm gone and while I'm doing my thing. But, you know, I just want to continue to produce content and I don't know why I'm continuously revealing like my nitty gritty details with you guys in this intro. Um, but yeah, this is Gus. I, from what I know, it's, uh, I believe about his wedding, right? Because obviously with what we left off with last one, uh, pr got proposed to, how he pictured it, how he always envisioned it was going to be, uh, and now we're going to continue this legacy. I do got to say, I'm not sure how, if I will get around the copyright gods. I know this is a recently new movie, 2021, uh, uh, released during the pandemic, so um, I don't know when this was filmed or any other news about this, but we'll see. I know uh, there's a lot of theory crafting about eight movies in eight seasons. We'll see. We'll see if we get more movies or uh, if we get a little titular ending that may allude to something grander in the psych universe. Um, but yeah, I guess with that being said, y'all, not really much more I could say with this intro. Um, we're just going to get into this. Psych 3, the movie. Psych 3, this is Gus. Of course, we have to bring out the aw oh, yeah shirt for this one, right? Come on, let's do this. Is this like the Marvel Cinematic? You <laughs> my boys. I love my boys. My client has no comment. Step aside, please. We need to get him in for process. You got the wrong <gasps> guy. Hey, mom. That's right. I'm mm. back. Where is it? Look at this man with a cane and the beard. Hell yeah, he's the chief of police. This would require a frame job of epic proportions. Which is why you need to arrest his lawyer. His own lawyer framed him. How? Why? It's simple. You take an empanada, wrap it in a burrito. What? It, what? You did what now? He's whispering to. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I love that they're giving him little tips, man. We've integrated well into Lassiter. How does this tortilla fit into the case? Yeah. It does by um. Sibilance. You getting By that? Of the, um... Oh shit, now we're cutting in and out. Um, You gotta just adapt, man. Improvise, improvise, yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be trouble and it's your fault. It's not good. Empanada, empanada. It's not good. Is she turning it into a song? Ooh. Just don't use your middle names. This thing really drives from either side. You kidding? Huh? It's the dual berry. That means it's got two of everything. Dude, we are still using this student driver car, man. I love that continuation, though. We gotta be uh, uniform across all movies. You mind if I um ride in the driver's seat? <laughs> I mean, what side? Pick your choice. Hmm. Oh yeah, he can't drive. Shit. You can drive Gus and I around anytime you want. Isn't that right, Gus? Sean, you don't interrupt a man when he's selecting napkin rings. Oh, is that what that is? Jesus. Nope. Now, why is Gus was saying no? Nope? Tell him, Sean. Tell me what, uh -oh. Sean? Uh-oh. We, well, we made it all up? Who would have known? The truth is we can't keep coming down here and helping you solve crimes from the bush. Aww. Why? What's the deal, bros? I mean, look at yourself, man. Look at your beard. <laughs> Dude, it is an exquisite beard. It is such a nice beard. Look, you don't need us, okay? Oh, You're shit, right. his daughter. Hey, <gasps> hey, Sean. Hey, Magic Cat. <laughs> Oh, she grows up with nicknames for him. This is cute. Christy Swanson, where are you at? I was doing something clever, Lily, called lying. Besides, Daddy's got a date with a police scanner. You don't show tomorrow, you're dead to me. Dad, we're not done talking about this. 
Dude, I love how reliable now he has, uh, like a reliable um, relationship he has with um, Sean and Gus now, man. I love it. He's just broken. We broke those barriers down, baby. I told you this was a bad idea to get involved. <laughs> He's not ready yet. Really? Because he tried to run over a squirrel on the way home. He's plateauing. He hasn't even reached his final form yet, though. Come on, man. It's like we all thought Frieza only had two forms, and then he busts out that alien one. We were like, damn. You can't give him false hope. Ugh. You understand? But isn't that what he needs now more than ever? <laughs> I said that in like a serious way, but also it's kind of messed up. I don't know. Oh, do you have a woman back there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Smells like wood. Do you have a wooden woman back what, there? Sean, whatever you need. <laughs> like mannequin style? It's Gus. It just feels like we're drifting apart. Oh. Maybe I'll send him a text and he just responds with an emoji. All male <laughs> friendships. Stupid. Die fatherhood, Sean. No, don't tell me that. Oh, not that I like, agree with it, right? But it's like I had a best friend too who had a kid, and it's like, yeah, they kind of disappeared. I recently had a friend who had a kid, didn't disappear as often though. But like, I get it. Like, it takes the time up. But like, man, this like hits way too close to home when it comes to like friends having kids all the time. And they're like, come on, man, what they can't fend for themselves? He is evolving. And this next chapter in Gus's life is gonna be like nothing he's ever experienced before. Wait, does he have a kid or is he getting married? So how come we can't evolve together like in sync when they open that hot dog stand? I, didn't, I don't know if that's accurate. Wait, so he's having a kid? I didn't like really put two and two together there. That's a big deal. I'm worried about us, man. <sighs> what the hell? Pow! Okay, what is this? It's a gender reveal box. Oh, that's so stupid. If this starts to beep, Take cover. Oh wow, so is this movie gonna be based off of a baby then? Or I thought they were getting married. I guess they're getting married and having a baby, right? Well, they hasn't got the divorce paper signed yet. And this woman is still married. Good golly, Miss Molly. That doesn't strike you as weird. Can we try the ice cream logs? She says she doesn't need some man to swoop in to solve her problems for. Does she know it would be us swooping in and that's not the yeah, same clearly. thing? Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Wait, so that means we're not men then? I can control. Like bouquets and, and Dude, this is some sick editing, man. We're just going from location to location right now. I didn't think we'd have to take our pants off for this. I didn't ask you to. <laughs> well observed. <laughs> Dude, dinosaur boxers. Here's a question. Get at me. Can mine be parachute what? pants? You must leave. <laughs> Yo, my man requests parachute pants. You give him parachute pants. What do you say we crack a wheel of cheese and uh, maybe run a background check on the Say Lene's husband? You said you wanted to do things together. <gasps> what was that? Do things with an emphasis on do. Dude, I want to see what kind of, are we going to get a good cameo with this uh, husband reveal? We get a baby reveal and a husband reveal in one episode. And you are not going to ruin my last shot of being a godparent. Uh, is she really an adult though? Is she really an adult? Sean, if neither of us can even say having a baby, I think we know exactly where we are. I can say it, and we can reopen those discussions. I, it's like more like you, like she just wants him to like be open to the idea and not be so like, you know what I mean? I, I think, I think that's what that means. Woo, what up, yeah. Chiefy Chiefy. Hello. Bon appetiti teepy. Husband. Oh wait, she already knows. Oh, God yeah. damn. Second, you left her side. Damn that woman can compartmentalize. Yeah. Funny you should say that, dude. I can't comp uh, compartmentalize for shit, dude. <laughs> I, do. I will hold on to shit for like. I'll have a bad day at work, come home and be like, I can't do this, man. I just need to like think about it for the next two hours. Is that what the definition of compartmentalize is? <laughs> no, I'm going on vacation for the first time in like ten years. Not a huge camping fan myself, but you know, not a machete. Jesus. Oh. I'm telling you no. We bringing her around, and but I'm leaving my office unattended. But my body, my body is telling me yes. Let's go, let's go, Chief. Dude, I love Chief's way of like telling us without telling us. You know what I mean? I love it. Just so about forward. You. Making this reservation for dinner tonight. How do you spell Selene's last name? Gilmore, as in girls. Will you repeat that? Just, just spell it for me. Oh. Age 86. He's an 86 year old man from Gwinnett, Georgia. You're being weird, Sean. What the hell? Gus, man, I feel like you're- you on dinner not being weird or <laughs> Good man. Wow, Gus is like not humoring us at all. This feels weird. I don't like this evolution of the relationship. Who are you, Selene Gilmore? So we found out Selene is an 86 year old woman. She must have a great skincare routine. I don't know. Stick only to the facts. You were not impersonating a doctor for fun. You were working undercover. Oh, hell yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. I love how they're integrating that second movie into it. 
which does call into question then how long did this, was this from the second movie to this one then? It has to feel like at least a year, no? Oh, I need an hour. I just shaved my armpits. I need to bronze. Wow. This man is going all out. Just take the stuff out of the ice chest and then we'll leave early tomorrow. Chief, you're breaking my heart here, man. She's not able to go. It's times like these I'm like so grateful that I work in a, an industry that like isn't saving lives so I could definitely take the time that I need to like reflect on like personal lives and shit. I'm okay. Oh, I'm oh, you feel that? Tonight is going to be the godparent ask. <gasps> Tighten it up. Ouch. Yeah. Lock it up. I'm gonna go to the little boy's room. Yikes. Stay there until you grow up. <laughs> wow. Never gonna grow up. Oh my God, this man is stealing her purse. What a goober. I think we know a lesson here. Never go through a woman's purse. I think that's like the first rule of any sort of situation. Celine Gilmore, yeah, that's right. Oh shit, wait, is there another name in there? Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, that's a bad idea. Well, she has like some like stalker or some shit and that's why she changed her name. What the hell are you Ooh. doing? Okay. One, I created my own forensic science and it just might've worked. Two, Selene, as it turns out, does not exist. She what? <laughs> He's like, you said what now? You accuse every woman I date of being some sort of criminal. You did it to Chelsea, Emmanuel, Mira, Ruby, the lady with the statue. Okay, but from that list alone, I was right more than 50% of the time. True, yeah. Yeah, I feel like half of those names I don't remember, but I remember Emmanuel though. Although Emmanuel like was kind of like also a little bit like a PI detective. So it's like, that's already untrustworthy, you know? Oh yeah, Gus is really stepping his sophistication game up. Mm. Mm. What do you have in a Grenache? Grenache? Well, that depends. Oh, Grenache. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we only fight and wrestle in the classiest of establishments, though. Oh, dude, sick move. Oh, shit. Good. Also, dragging yourself on the bathroom floor, though, not a big fan. Call me crazy. Oh, shit, my man spider manning it. <laughs> Oh shit, for men, huh? No. You're gonna hairspray him in the- Oh! That hurts my contacts, just like knowing that would enter my eye. What do you get, think? Get, I'm sorry I sprayed you with jizz. Get pasa. But you know, we really Did he say I'm sorry I spray- is that- was that jizz? Woo! <laughs> oh shit, round two! Fight! We got a bathroom ballroom blitz right now. Puddle of Salt Lake City fry sauce, which is perfect for people who like to dunk things. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational, dude. What a great segue. It's a very loose sauce and we just put it on a Oh my plate. god. Just like the, the back and forth of her like telling the specials versus them fighting. No, you wouldn't do that. Oh shit, no, what is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Ow! Oh! A nail file to the dome? And I'm marrying her and she's carrying our child. Which is exactly why you should be more concerned than I am. But Gus and Selene both have sisters in line in front of me. Doesn't Selene have a sister? No shit. I'm pretty sure what he was writing down was Santa Monica, right? 34 Santa Monica? Let's pop by. We'll ask one probing question. That probably gets us to the husband, which gets us to your wedding. Unless your jackal switch it, brother. <laughs> oh, he's calling into question the jackal protocol. Oh! <laughs> Jack tagging. Yeah, right you see that? The overnight jackal That's the jackal card. This has been a minute. Janet. Yeah, don't mind the redness on my face. Yeah, no big deal. You doing appetizers? No, oh, I can show you <laughs> Inconspicuous as ever, boys, huh? Nothing to mind uh, or pay attention to here, huh? Damn, dude, like, even like, yeah, the camera work in this one feels much more evolved. No shot. Look at this, man. Warning, Guster calling. I haven't decided yet, Guster. Yeah. Look at this man. Look, I'm not supposed to tell anyone this, but I have a potential conflict. I'm at Kurt. the top of a very short list to join Andrew Ridgely's newly reformed Wham. What the hell? Last Christmas, Davey Mahal. Seems like a legal minefield, Kurt. No, he's taking the H and the exclamation point out of Wham. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna work. <laughs> it does say the same word though, right? I Ours really goes. Would it make a difference if I threw in an extra 35 bucks? Ooh. Actually, it would. I'll send over the rehearsal info the second we get this marriage dissolved. Wow, my man has stooped so low to thirty-five dollars. All right, so here we're at. We're here at the uh, uh, the sisters' uh, place. Let's see. Uh oh. I need to leave. Whoever you are. Wow. <laughs> Is this a joke? It's 
It's me, Gus. You need to hit the bricks, sir. Oh, shit. What's happening? Who's selling it? Okay. I feel like this is going sideways. Can you bring Whitney back out here, please? What the hell's Whitney? Oh, shit. She's running. Oh, shit. Oh, what yes. It's happening? This song is played at every single freaking wedding, too, man. Oh. Damn. Oh. What the hell? She went flying. That was like some Clark Griswold shit right there. Hey, she's okay. All right. How do you think I feel? It's a mixed bag. The launch angle was epic. Leave me alone. Yeah, right. But you're alive, so we can make fun of it now. Yeah, oh, well, shit. What's uh, going on here? Uh, she hires me to be her sister. I'm sorry. What? And you're not the first person she's brought over. Dog, what the shit? No shit. It's always got to be so complicated with Gus. Uh, do you have the peacock? What's that? What? Did it's she just say service. peacock? What the fuck, dude? What is this next level meta shit, dude? <laughs> Get out of here, peacock. Answer one more question. Do you remember her talking about living in Santa Monica? Can you fill in three numbers and Ooh. five letters in an address? Can you call my boyfriend? Of course we can. What's his name? It was Glenn. <laughs> Get right, bitch. Here we go. Dude, say Lene. You were supposed to be the chosen one. But the thing is, is what? he never misses anything. A fire eater for a wedding? This wedding. Sounds pretty dope. Have you seen him? Oh, I'm having a serious deja vu right now. They went through your purse? If they're doing what I think they're doing, they're in grave danger. Uh-oh. Okay, all right. At least she's revealing it, so it's got to be something good then, no? We want to ask you a few questions about this woman. If I never see that woman again in my life, it'll be too soon. Ooh, granny. Giving it to us good. Weird. Middle of the night. Left all their junk. No notice, no nothing. And uh, when was this? A couple of years now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's go back. How charismatic are we talking? On a scale of you to Daniel Kaluuya, he's <laughs> Harry Belafonte. Oh. <laughs> How charismatic are we talking? This man's already jealous. Is it the big show? Oh, she went camping. I'm right. Yeah, of oh, course. Kara? Oh, please tell me there's no zombie apocalypse. Nah, not yet. I mean, 2021 kind of was a zombie apocalypse, so, you know. That's <laughs> right. Willie Tyler, the greatest ventriloquist in the world. You went with ventriloquist. Oh, my God. I accept your concession of defeat. Oh, shit. Is that Rom Zombie? <laughs> yeah, yeah breathe through the bitch. Man. 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 If people actually believe I'm Willie, that's instant street cred. Lester is passable. Your ceiling is Lamont from Sanford and Son. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the dude. Puppets are innately creepy, dude. I hate every Any moment of it. Rob Zombie. <laughs> Please. You don't look anything like me. Oh, gosh. Did you know you look like him? Yeah. I didn't. Not until and I found this wig and added the side buckle. Should we slow walk it? I thought you'd never ask. Yeah. It is kind of remarkable how similar he does fucking look to him. Was that like, did someone say that to him that he would like look like him and then he just like assumed the role? We have an appointment to see an apartment, dummy. She's not the dummy. You're the dummy. Yo, these men, worst disguises ever. I hate LA. She only needs two idiots, apartment 336. I saw your lips moving. <laughs> <laughs> fucking on guard. Yo, wait, was this the girl? She made a cameo in the uh, 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 um, the introduction of Declan, where she was the uh, cafe uh, attendant, right? She did the quiz. I know I'm staring. I just have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking eyes, dude. I'm just such a huge fan, Mr. Zombie. I, I know 31 wasn't for everybody, but it was definitely for me. Oh, oh. man. No, sorry. I, I am not familiar with your friend and his Urkel puppet, but he seems Urkel very- Urkel puppet. <laughs> Jalel. Good old call out. I'm calm. Good. Now start calling me Rob or Whitey Z. <laughs> or just Z. Ooh. I can't tell you exactly why we needed to see this place. I'm under a strict non-disclosure agreement. Dude, he's just leaning into it. You understand. Totally, that's cool. Oh my Gideon. Oh shit, a munitions case. I'm a psychic. And as you saw with your very own eyes, I'm also a master of disguises. And the likely owners, whatever is in this box, 
anything that you can remember about them. Well, I remember they were really cute together. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. She had shortish <laughs> hair. <laughs> Dude, the puppet's gotta go, man. Get me out of here. Dude, the puppet is just making this scene even more brilliant. Right, and then they just bolted <laughs> under the cover of darkness. Like the old Cleveland Browns. Okay, so they were together. They left in the middle of darkness. Obviously, this guy was charming AF. You're gonna use... Oh. Very impressive. He did it? Happy to lend a hand. Oh my god, dude. Okay, no, I'm sorry. He, he's just speaking normally. Yeah. <laughs> he's just super annoyed. Oh my... And you just put your fingerprints on it. Great. Rebecca Thomas. Aaron Stibble. These are top notch. This is not some random con artist. Damn, so she she has to be on the run from this man, right? Oh, Gus. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> not again. Maybe you should consider that your lady picker is broke. Hey, at least he's picking ladies. Some of us don't have quite the functioning lady picker. Is police assistance, okay? Lassie's not happy with us. Yeah, well, he's not talking to me either. He says he wants nothing to do with all Spencers. Oh my Oh yeah, God. what's he making that? Gus, get in here. Oh, he's making a crib for him. You and Juliet, we're having a baby. What? Oh. I might have been hopped up on hallucinogenic ice chips at the time. Did I never clarify that it was actually me? Wow, yeah, so it ha okay. Yeah, now that I'm doing the math, she's still pregnant, so yeah, nine weeks, okay. We need to track those fake IDs. We haven't been back to Jules and her, so I don't know. What is she telling her? Why not? One of those IDs isn't a fake. Hey, Macarena. Which one? Yeah. Let's go, boys. You need to tell us exactly who you are. Yes, we all like to know. Can we eat first? The more you delay it, the worse it's gonna be, Sailor A. Just rip it off like a Band-Aid or like duct tape uh, covering the mouth. You got got. This man is trying to lockpick again. Get the fuck. You know, by the way, I'm actually a pretty good locksmith. Um, I've been like practicing locksmithing uh, during like the pandemic and everything, which this reminds me that it came out in 2021. I was practicing it a lot and now I can pick pretty like basic locks. All right, who's the ginger? He's in every single one of these photos. Ah, forward. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Anyone would have. All right, so I can turn around. Wait, who is this man? Who is this man? These aren't even real guns. Those aren't even fake guns. <laughs> yeah, they're intimidating enough. Does it look like I'm calling any shots here? <laughs> I don't have indoor plumbing. Look, don't let that water tower fool you. So why are you? Yeah, it's all a facade, the water tower. <laughs> well, that monster is the reason Boo and I had to split up. She's not your boo. Ooh. Man, she's my wife. Eh, semantics, you know. Damn, so what, this man... Is hunting them both down or what? That's Ronald Cole. Excuse me. CEO of eco-friendly microbrewery Pacific Mountain Brew Works. But to us, he's nothing but a drug smuggler and an arms dealer. Yes, let's hear this story. What's going down, baby? A brewery is a drug smuggling ring? Wait, time out. Is it weird <laughs> that I'm standing next to you? Like we're gonna tell the story. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands, yeah. The bull. The nobody bull. knows it because he's the last person anybody would think is running guns and drugs. So we're basically yeah. talking about Victor Maitland. You talking about the villain from Beverly Hills Cop? <laughs> At least my man gets the reference, yeah. <laughs> okay, does it have to be a movie character? If you want us to understand. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, just roll with it. I get sent out to take photos of a workers comp claim. I stumble across this smooth, swole brother named Alan Decker. She got pictures. I got pictures. So we working in close quarters. And I mean, real close quarters. <laughs> Gus is so jealous. Rightfully so, too. So we about to tell a delivery van and one of his muzzle heads is about to make a drop. <laughs> Something goes wrong, it's a gunfight. Mm, that's where the gun comes from. This is kind of an ingenious case, dude. This is super dope. Yeah, that was the night I accident of Mary. <gasps> Strike when the iron's hot. And the sexual tension between the two of them must have been palpable. But no matter how careful we thought we were being, his goons would always find us. Ooh, shit on me, dude. We'll never be safe together, yeah. But you forgot one thing. Ooh, yeah, it'd probably be best if she told you that. Damn, wait. Oh my God, this reveal is gonna kill me. Wow. Hey, Devin Henry. 
been ignoring your calls on purpose. But you're not going to out-grand Torino me. Oh, wow. New grill, huh? Oh, he's bringing the ID over. This is an opportunity for now uh, my man to solve his own case. There is something heartwarming about these scenes between Henry and um, uh, Carlton, man. It's just like two cops like talking about it, like seeing like seeing some shit, but also being able to relate to each other with like their kids and shit. McNabb asked for motive. I ordered a combo meal. <laughs> Good old empanadas, man. You know, the impa and the nada. Sean is working on something pretty important. Not interested. He found this gun. The serial numbers have been scratched off. Now, I know that you're a master at recovering this stuff. Well, it turns out recovery's not my thing after all. Oh, Carlton, man, come on. This will tickle your fancy. You know you want it. Hey, Lily. What a surprise. You know what? Don't bother, honey. He's just leaving. Don't worry, Dad. I got the expired stuff. <laughs> Damn, the flat beer? Yeah, I guess I'm staying for a drink, huh? No, Hell yeah. My kid's more intuitive than I am. Welcome to the club. <laughs> yep cheers mate i don't have a kid but cheers <laughs> oh god i can assume this isn't for me yo is that gonna come back to play at the end like is that gonna save him it's just gonna blow up in the guy's face yeah this one is tough seeing it like this oh oh forehead <laughs> <laughs> looking like bud if you two help me finish this i let it go sign divorce papers yeah, I will. Where in? Whoa! The plan is to marry my fiance before her water breaks. Hell yeah. We accept. It's just semantics. It's not semantics, Sean. Yeah, you still don't know that word? <laughs> Dobson, have fun, buddy. Dobson, dude! Still being called. Good old Bill. None of this has been easy for her. Yeah, my wife believes in me so much she's taken out a loan and gone back to school. I know you don't believe that. Ooh, are we not gonna get any Christy Stewart? I didn't see her name in the credits though, right? Mom's on her way home and she says, don't forget to take your cup bra. I'm not 11. Neither am I. Oh, 11 years old. I was like, <laughs> 11 Stranger Things? You should stay. Okay. But you'll have to watch a scene. <laughs> what are you doing? You got a text from Mom and you left your reading glasses inside. How do you know my passcode? Why wouldn't I know your passcode? More importantly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's your daughter. Oh. Oops. <laughs> That's so cute. I just cute. can't wait to tell you I got us Ted Nugent tickets for the 27th. I love you. Home soon. You okay over there, Carlton? You might be the first person I've ever seen cry over Ted Nugent. <laughs> He's just incredibly lucky. God, I'm such a fool. Oh, come on. You're not a fool. Your life's dreams were stolen from you overnight. I got news for you. Yeah, man. You are so much more than just being a cop, Carlton. Am I? Look, I... You got a exquisite beard still. <laughs> you got to get back out there, man. You can do this shit. You got to believe you got everything you need and take it from me. You do not want to spend the next 20 years sitting on this porch trying to make up for lost time. This is what I'm talking about, man. Henry getting through to him is just like, it's a string. It tugs at the string. It tugs at the heart. Hearts have strings. Well, I'll be home in 20 minutes. Show me the gun. Yeah! My boy coming back from the grave. God damn, dude. That was such a... Like, as funny as it was, it was a great scene between two fucking ex-cops, man. That's so great.